Hi everybody, it's Miss Mellon. This week at Davis Elementary, guess what? It's Mare Week. It's a really fun week that we have usually here towards the end of the school year. It stands for Marine Animal Research and Education. We do a lot of research of different bodies of water all around the school. And normally when we're at school, we get to see some really nice decorated hallways of the, the different bodies of water that the different grade levels get to study. In kindergarten, we study a much smaller body of water called a pond. And when you think of a pond, you think about something a little bit more peaceful, uh, a place where you could spend a nice relaxing day. Um, the animals that you would see at a pond would be animals like little minnows and um, turtles and frogs and ducks and snakes and snails and usually you don't they're not making lots of noise they're just really um, calm in the water and so it'll be a really nice time to spend a day there if you can do that with your family so i'm going to talk to you today and read to you today uh, about a pond book and, and the animals that you might see there this week for kindergarten you are going to be studying a pond animal and um, all the different kindergarten teachers will have different books and crafts that you can see that you can do while you're doing your research. So let's read about uh, what kind of animals live around the pond. So that's the name of this book. This book is called Around the Pond, Who's Been Here? by Lindsay Barrett George. This is one of my favorite big books. It is warm and muggy on this summer afternoon. Cammy says William, mom says if we pick enough blueberries, we can make a pie for dinner. Well, let's go, says Cammy. Cammy and her brother grab their berry containers and follow the old deer path that circles around the pond. A dead sugar maple stands alone by the water's edge. White feathers are stuck to the bark around a hole. Who's been here? Two baby wood ducks. Sam finds a stick. He wants someone to throw it. Not now, Sam, William says. We've got to pick blueberries. Their dog lies down in the soft moss. William, look at this. William, look at this footstep or footprint, says Cammie. Who's been here? Oh, what is that? This animal lives around the pond. This is called a baby raccoon. A tree has fallen across the path and into the pond. William dangles his feet in the water. He sees a shallow crater on the sandy bottom. Who's been here? A sunfish. What a beautiful fish. Cammie and William reach a path of swamp azalea. They see a pile of branches and mud. Who's been here? A beaver, that's who. Bits of broken shell lie on the sunny bank. The children stop to take a closer look. William picks up a piece of shell. It is soft. Who's been here? It's a painted terrapin. Cammy and her brother stop in front of a large blueberry bush. They pick and eat. Sam likes blueberries too. Cammy points to a long, filmy shape caught on the branches. 
Who's been here? A garter snake. That's who. Sam wades into the pond and takes a drink. A red winged blackbird scolds from a nearby branch. A large gray feather floats next to a lily pad. Who's been here? A great blue heron. It's quiet and still. The late afternoon sky turns pink. Let's go wading, said Cammy. The mud is soft and squishy. Look at all the mussel shells, says William. Who's been here? An otter. Cammy and William reached the dock. They have eaten most of their blueberries, but look, two full pails of berries are waiting for them. Who's been here? They know. Come and join us, calls their father, and in they go. Maybe there is some splashing at the pond after all. So some animals that you can find at the pond would be animals like a wood duck, raccoon, a sunfish, a beaver, a terrapin, a garden snake, great blue heron, river otters, and many, many other animals. If you get a chance to visit a pond this week, do it because it would be really fun to do. Bye.